Welcome back, guys, to FS13. We also call this Throwback Thursday, where we go and play a crazy old farming game. FS2013 is a really solid game. Like, me and Buck love this game. And so we're back at it. Last time, we got done finishing corn harvest. This time, it's spring. We gotta get planting. And Buck's already cutting his lawn. Hopefully, you guys enjoy these 2013 videos. Let me know if you do in the comment section. Let me know if we should do anything else, like heavy hauling, off-roading. We'll see what we can do. I enjoy this game, though. It's got some solid features that even 22, like, doesn't have. This is more realistic, if that makes sense. Even though the graphics aren't as good. But anyways, I like it. You just trying to be the first guy to mow his lawn again this year? Hey, I got a solid nine liters on this thing of 1%. It means it needed cut. You get that through Amazon Prime? Yes, it's my, it's my profi hopper from Prime. What are you gonna take? You gonna take uh, green or you gonna take red? I'll run the uh, fuel cultivator if you wanna run the planter. Well, I gotta take this thing into town quick and get it cleaned up. Plus, I gotta get it fueled up. So if you wanted to get started on fuel cultivating, you're gonna have to do a few passes before I can even get my planter in there. Sounds good. There's a uh, there's like a cheerleader car wash in town. They do like free car washes for donations. Is that one Austin guy worked there? Yeah, Austin. You mean the guy with the long hair? Yeah, that, the cheerleader? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Farmer? Is that the last name of her or him? Yeah, that's him. Okay, yeah. Just tell him I say hi. Hopefully he's not in his sports bra again. Last, <laughs> last time I went through the car wash, he was in his sports bra just all over my car. It was disgusting. So, we got finished with Harvest. We got the Kinsey grain carts. I, I, I love these Harvest Commander grain carts. I, I do. These are awesome mod. I wish we had them in 22. We don't, unfortunately. We got them cleaned up, parked. Got the combine parked. It still needs to be cleaned, but I mean, it's... Don't mind that. Really awesome mod. It's springtime so we gotta get planting so i'm gonna fire up the 9420t get this run with the field cultivator and then buck's gonna be run the steiger he knows how to plant he knows how to run all the technology he's gonna be run that thing and so we're gonna get going okay so we'll preheat the engine got glow plugs good start her up that was the startup sound was definitely a pickup truck there's no hiding that now it sounds like a tractor though. If you can see on that front wheel, there's front weights. We'll take them off. So now we don't have front weights. I mean, it'd be kind of nice to have front weights, but it's springtime. And so we don't want to compact the soil right before we plant it. So we'll take as much weight as possible off this thing. You ready to roll, Buck? Might as well be. I'm thinking I'll get ahead of Buck. We'll field cultivate ahead of him. He's going to be planting corn. And then we actually, me and Buck, just purchased an air drill that we're going to use to plant our beans. Now, in the Midwest, not many people use air drills to plant beans unless you're in like Kansas, like Nebraska. But... It's gonna be a cool tool. I think it plants at like seven inch spacing or something like that. We still have some corn stubble. We didn't like rip our stocks. So this is kind of, I'll probably have to two pass it with this field cultivator to get it all worked up for Buck here, but we should be good. We'll get her unfolded, get rolling. I like the unfolding folding Buck. It's slow, but it's interesting. Well, uh, look at that. It actually looks like it has weight when it falls. I'm gonna get field cultivating ahead of Buck. Yeah, I gotta get this thing set up anyway. Oh, woo -wee. Turn her black, Buck. I wish my field cultivator worked this good in the spring. My plug's up, even when I run a disc ripper in the fall. This is nice. I'll wait for you to get back on the second pass. Now, I'm only going five, uh, five mile an hour, so you may catch me, Buck. Well, I'm not even gonna start my pass until you come back. Okay, so right now we have 3% slip up there. I'm actually going to put the weights back on and see if we can go a little faster because right, right now we're going 5.4 mile an hour. If we put the weights back on, we'll stop for a second, put the weights back on, see if we can get a little better slip, maybe? Ah, it's still 3% slip. So it re the weight really didn't affect it here. On the grain cart, oh wait, 2.8, 2.8. Okay, it helped it a little bit. On the grain cart, though, in the fall, it was helping a ton having weights on the tractor. I wonder if that's because that doesn't have any tongue weight now. It's going to be the same amount of tongue weight since it has the swivel. I mean, this is a big field cultivator, though. That's got to be 50, 60 foot is what it looks like. So least. you're look, you're pretty much ripping half the county over there. Buck, I'm going slow, man. I don't know what this is. I thought the 9420D, she'd have enough horsepower, but I'm only going five mile an hour. Buck forgot seed, guys. I mean, that is literally like dropping to a knee and proposing to your girlfriend for getting the wedding ring. Okay, we got Jim that took over the 9420T. That's going to take a while. We're going to have him finish up. I'm going to get, go get in a different tractor. This is corn on corn. Buck's got a Buck's going to get planting after us, and we're going to go on the air trail. Okay, so we're going to purchase a K Squad track. We don't have another good tractor. I'd rather be on track, so we're going to buy this Case 600 Quad track. And then also... 
I'm gonna buy a Chevy 3500 because all we got is Fords around here. We need some Chevys in here. I'm gonna buy a Chevy flatbed. I'm assuming this is 2013 K Squad Track. Should be. Walk up to the deer. Cedar. Buck, we can't put an hydrus behind. Well, we don't need an hydrus, but I'm wondering what the rear hitch is on the cedar for. It is for the anhydrous tank. Putting in hydrus while you're seeding soybeans? Don't ask huh. me. Huh. I might try it. Well, there's some anhydrous tanks we have in here, but there's no like anhydrous toolbar. Anhydrous is your nitrogen. So we're wondering how do we put on anhydrous? Okay, we'll start this quad track up. Dude, the sounds are good. So I think Buck's trying to get that planer working. We'll take this back to the farm. They got a Mickey D's in town. They got a gas station. Okay, so we're gonna refill the cedar. Now Buck's been having some issues with his, the refilling part. So we're hoping this works, otherwise we won't have a planter. So I'd assume that right there is, should be soybeans. So we'll plant soybeans. Okay, there we go, we made it to the farm. What is this, Buck? This is what we like to call old steam iron farming. Oh yeah. I don't even think 22 has this good of mods. Imagine if like you could pay a certain amount of money for 10 minutes just to be driving through Iowa or the Midwest and see people from, you know, the 1920s out working their fields or planting their seeds or whatever. It'd just be amazing to just see it, you know, in real time, I guess. Like how they used to do it? Yeah, weird thought. It's like, boom, you instantly for 10 minutes while you're driving down the interstate, flash back to the, like the 1920s. And you just see every, you look left and right. You see everybody out working their fields with horses, steam power tractors, whatever it is. Be neat. What's weird is that the dirt that you're turning over there is different. Is like a dark, rich topsoil. And mine just looks like dry, crumbly dirt. I'm planting, Buck, at 13 mile an hour. Holy cow, you're scooting over there. It's working. I didn't know drills could plant this quick, but this could be nice. You see the 9420 down there working ground, and then you see Buck with the, just this giant smokestack, like three times as big as the 9420. Okay, so Buck finished with the 9420, or Jim, or Dave, I forgot the guy's name that was running that. He's going to get another air seeder, so we're going to have two air seeders running on this field planting beans, and then we'll probably fast forward until harvest time, and we're going to get harvesting, because we got a couple other fields that are ready to harvest too, pretty soon, and I love harvest in 2013. Man, I always had stories about the city life, and the crazy nights, and figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out, see what it's all about. So with the quad track, we're playing at 14. Buck up there says he can plan at 16 mile an hour. And I'm back to 10. You're back to 10? 11. You backed it down or it can actually, or it's making it go down? No, I, I made it back down. 9420T, I didn't think she'd have as much horse as the quad, but maybe. Because I'm not pulling oh. with the 94. Oh, you're pulling with the wheeled. The quad versus the 8345R. I'm going to give Buck a head start here. I just don't even see how this is a competition. You got a 600 horse quad track versus an 8345R. Here we go, Buck. Three, two, one, go. Oh, he's catching me. He is catching me. How does the deer have more horsepower? <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> Bye now. And we are done. Buck's folding her up. I'll fold her up. We're and I used go. only 1% of what's in the tank. We're going to head back. Okay, since we're done with this planter, we'll back her in the shed on hooker. And then maybe we'll put the quad track on the grain cart, or we'll figure it out. There we go. Got her detached. Buck, what do you think we put the quad on? A grain cart, or like the chisel plow? You can put it on whatever your little heart can desires. How about that? Little heart. If your big heart wants to send me some money, that'd be nice. I'm... Broke by $1,325, Buck. Uh-oh. We're going to take the F-350. We have a fuel tank, auxiliary tank on the back. We're going to use this. Go fuel up a combine that's out of fuel, stuck in a field. Bring that combine back and then hook them up to the corn headers. And we're going to get harvesting some corn on one of our other fields. Okay, we'll pull up next to the combine. Get Buck fueled up. Buck, can it, can it reach there? Get a little closer. Actually, I think I have to be on the other side. Wow, thanks. You're going to be buying the new Fender. <laughs> no, like the other side of your truck. Oh, right oh your gosh. Truck. I was like, what the? Well, where's the fuel nozzle? <laughs> the fuel nozzle on the right Ready? side of the bed. See if that works. There we go. Got it? Yep. It doesn't show I'm losing fuel, though. But maybe... I know. So I'm saying. They never had a fuel capacity on that. It was literally just a ro mobile fuel trigger, mobile gas pump. Okay, well, I'll just leave this truck here. You need a corn head, right? 
Yeah, just go take my truck and go grab the corn eaters. They're in between the grain silo and the back shed. There's okay. one of them that's on the trailer right now. Sounds At good. At least it should still be. You gotta press, you gotta take the handbrake off. Why is this scene driving so slow? It just doesn't like you. Were you driving with the parking brake on again? I, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna take the Chevy, Buck. Okay, we're gonna get hooked up to the corn ed. We're gonna Put her on the trailer here. So this is our grain bin setup. We never used this last video at all. I want to use this actually. So we'll probably take haul all of our semi grain back here instead of taking it straight to the elevator. <laughs> okay, we're hooked up. We're gonna take the Duramax and then take her on down to the field. And then we gotta come with the combine yet. I don't know if those combines had hitches on them, but probably would have been smart to check because that would have saved us a trip here. Oh my gosh. Oh no. <gasps> Oh, oh, now the game's starting to show its age. Oh, gosh. <laughs> we're good. We're good. There we go. Parked in the field. We'll head back. Go pick up the combine. This thing's almost out of fuel, so we're going to park next to the 350 and fill her up. I think I might be on the wrong side. Buck, does it refuel it, or you got to sit in here and watch it? It should refuel. Okay, I'm hopping out. As long out. as the money's going down, you should know it's that it's working. Yep, it's working. Okay, so we need two semis. We got the International Eagle. We got the Freightliner. I'll bring the Freightliner. Buck will bring the International. The grain trailer, though, it's a little weird on this one. I'd rather have the other grain trailer, but this will work. So we'll park. Well, we'll probably move them out to the field after we get the field opened up, which Buck, I think, has half the field opened up already. So we'll spread these apart so that way a grain cart can pull pretty much in between them if they need. Otherwise, if we put them side by side, then they can only pull up one way, it seems like. If you want to get this hooked up, I'll get the quad truck over here. Okay. Run the combine. I think that's a 2630 display there. Got that sitting there. Combine settings are good. Oh, yeah. This is going to be the most wrong setup you'll ever see at Harvest. Green combines, red tractors, and blue wagons. We need diversity, Buck. I'm 32% full, so we got a little bit yet. Corn must not be yielding as good. There goes Jim. What's his name, Buck? Is it Jim? Davey. Davey? Yippers. Oh, he's taking your last pass. I know. We're going to be done already. I got 92%. I should be good. That's 94, broke, 95, 96, 97. Come on, Buck. 98. <laughs> Oh, he caught me. There we go. We'll just sit at the end here. Got 4% left. There we go. Okay, that field is done. We knocked out this corn harvest. It got planted. Got kind of a lot done. Surprised we were planting and harvesting in the same season, but yeah, it's all good. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of FS2013 Throwback Thursday. I think this is going to be posted on Thursday. It should be on Thursday. Anyways, we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.